Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina welcomes EU proposal to send observers in next parliamentary election. Contract signed to bring Metrorail track and coach as service expected to start operation in capital from 2019. Poet Rabindranath's 76th death anniversary observed with befitting programs. UN imposed new sanctions on North Korea in backdrop of testing intercontinental ballistic missile. And Tiger spent second day at conditioning camp in Chittagong prior to Australia series. Assalamualaikum. Gulfan Ahmed welcoming you all to news at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chittagong Centre. And I'm Mashrufa Hussain. You've just heard the headlines. Moving on to the details. Government has decided to rename the Ministry of Environment and Forests as the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change. A proposal to this end was approved in the fourth meeting of the National Committee on Environment held with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the chair at her office today. Briefing reporters after the meeting, Press Secretary to the Prime Minister Isan al Karim said the meeting also approved the draft of the National Environment Policy 2017 and the Country Investment Plan on Environment forests and climate change. Addressing the meeting, the Prime Minister, also the chairperson of the National Committee on Environment, underscored the need for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, through planned development, protecting the cultivable land, forests and water bodies. Sheikh Hasina particularly asked the authorities concerned to intensify efforts to keep the four surrounding rivers of the capital free from pollution, saying the rivers would die if they are not freed from waste and pollution. The Prime Minister also put emphasis on ensuring ETPs and STPs in the industries alongside improvement of the sewerage system. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina put emphasis on increasing trade and investment between Bangladesh and European Union EU member states. The Prime Minister said this while outgoing EU Ambassador Pierre Mayadon called on her at her office today. Press Secretary to the Prime Minister Isan ul Karim briefed the reporters after the call on. The EU Ambassador put emphasis on the improvement of trade and investment with Bangladesh. He appreciated the process made in Bangladesh-EU business dialogue to improve business environment in Bangladesh. Talking about the Bongobuntu satellite, he said this would be launched in the coming December 16, subject to good weather. He said that the political dynamics in Bangladesh is much more peaceful and mentioned that EU is ready to send election observer mission during the next general election in Bangladesh. He expressed his satisfaction about the digital Bangladesh move and mentioned that he witnessed huge change here during his stay. The Prime Minister welcomed EU's interest to send election observer in the coming general election of the country which is scheduled to be held at the fag end of next year or beginning of 2019. President Mahmoud Abdul Hamid has arrived in Singapore for his regular medical checkup. On arrival at Changi International Airport, the High Commissioner of Bangladesh to Singapore received the President this afternoon Bangladesh time. Earlier, President Abdul Hamid left Dhaka for Singapore this noon from Hazrat Shahjal International Airport by a regular flight of Singapore Airlines. Finance Minister A.M.A. Mohid, Industries Minister Amir Hossein Amu, Dean of Diplomatic Corps, Cabinet Secretary, Chiefs of the Three Services, Secretaries Concerned and High Civil and Military Officials saw the President off at the airport. President Abdul Hamid is scheduled to have his health checkup at Mount Elizabeth Hospital and eye treatment at Singapore National Eye Centre. The President is expected to return home on August 12th.
A deal was signed to bring tracks and coaches to set up country's first ever metro rail project costing 4,257 crore taka. In presence of Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir, Managing Director of Dhaka Mass Transit Company Limited and also Metro Rail Project Director Aftabuddin Talukdar and Makota Ogawara of Japan's Kawasaki Mitsubishi Consortium signed the contract on behalf of the respective sites in the capital today. Secretary of Road Transport Division MAN Siddiq, Japanese Ambassador to Bangladesh Masato Watanabe and Shika Chief Representative Takatoshi Nishikata also spoke at the function. According to the deal, the Japanese company will also supply rolling stock, train simulator, machineries for depot and impart capacity building training for officials concerned of the Metro Rail project. Later, Obadul Qadir said Metro Rail service expected to start operation in capital from 2019. Nobel laureate poet Robindr Robindranath Thakur's 76th death anniversary observed across the country today with programs paying rich tribute to the greatest poet of Bangla language. Robindranath dissolved into the eternity he has been looking for all his life on this day in 1941. His poetic diction was freeing humanity and he searched for that through his poems, songs and all other liter literary presentations until death. Robindranath fared through all the branches of literature and his creation inspire, encourage and sedate the Bengali mind in every mood, even today. His philosophy was that the end of religion is not only the emancipation of the self but welfare of mankind as well. His greatest creation, Robindu Shongit, represent the psychic of the modern day Bangali and his realizations make the basis of Bangla literature. Information Minister Hassanul Haq Inu has urged to make South Asia free from nuclear bombs. He made the call while addressing a seminar on Hiroshima Day in the capital today. Architect Robul Hussein chaired the seminar which was also addressed by Atomic Energy Control Authority Chairman Professor Dr. Naim Chaudhry. Hassanul Haq Inu said all have to be united to check nuclear war, communalism and poverty which are holding people back from prosperity. Visiting Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs of Vietnam, Dang Ding Gi, called on State Minister for Foreign Affairs, Mohammad Shari Ralum, in Dhaka today. The Vice Minister also led the Vietnam delegation for the first Foreign Office consultation between the two countries. Mohammad Shari Ralum highlighted long standing friendship and goodwill between the two countries and stressed on the need for more exchange of visits at high political level. He invited Vietnam to explore investment opportunities in Bangladesh through joint venture. Vice Minister of Vietnam emphasized on the need for materializing the existing potentials of greater trade and investment between Bangladesh and Vietnam. And now, international news. The United Nations Security Council has agreed on fresh sanctions against North Korea over its missile program. Pyongyang tested two intercontinental ballistic missiles in July, claiming it can now have the ability to hit the United States. The Security Council unanimously adopted yesterday the U.S.-led resolution which bans mineral and seafood exports worth more than one billion U.S. dollars. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley said it was the most stringent set of sanctions on any country in a generation. China, North Korea's only international ally and a veto-wielding member of the UN Security Council voted in favor of the resolution after negotiations with the US that Ms. Haley said were tough. Beijing has often protected Pyongyang from harmful resolutions in the past. Russia, which is criticized for its economic links with North Korea, also voted for the sanctions. 
U.S. President Donald Trump has lauded China and Russia for supporting U.S.-led resolution against North Korea in the Security Council. Meanwhile, China's foreign minister has told his North Korean counterpart that Pyongyang should stop carrying out nuclear and missile tests hours after fresh sanctions were agreed by the United Nations Security Council. Now news on sports. Bangladesh national cricket team practiced for the second day in the condition camp in Chittagong today for the upcoming two-match test series against Australia. The Tigers went through two practice sessions in batting, bowling and fielding practice at the Zohram at Chaudhry Stadium. The first test will start on 27th of August in Dhaka while the second test will start on 4th of September in Chittagong. And now to end the bulletin, a repeat of the top stories. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina welcomes EU proposal to send observers in next parliamentary election. Contract signed to bring Metro Rail track and coach as service expected to start operation in capital from 2019. Poet Robindranath's 76th death anniversary observed with befitting programs. UN imposed new sanctions on North Korea in backdrop of testing intercontinental ballistic missile. And Tiger spent second day at conditioning camp in Chittagong prior to Australia series. And that's all from the newsroom at the moment. Thank you for staying with us. And we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. Until then, Khudafis. Khudafis.